Hey up everyone, welcome to the Ruby Ligesu channel. Today is going to be a face for the channel. I'm doing my very first match day vlog and this one is going to be St Helens against Wigan and this is the Challenge Cup semi-final which is being played at Ellen Road in Leeds, home of Leeds United Football Club, very historic ground. Very excited to be there. I've drove past that ground many times but never actually been inside. Really looking forward to this game. It's going to be a tight one. Uh, last time St Helens played against Wigan it was... A very easy win for St Helens, but we're going to be out for revenge and St Helens have a few players out, so this is going to be a great semi-final and I'll see you all there at the game. Hey everyone, uh, just arrived at the railway station, waiting for the train to go to Leeds. Uh, I went to go print my tickets out and the machine doesn't even work, but luckily with the phones these days, you've got your ticket on your phone anyway, so hopefully that will get me to Leeds, but um, uh, it's currently pretty warm today, I think it's going to be a warm match. I think uh, down Leeds way it's going to be about 15 degrees. I'm wearing a coat just in case because uh, with the weather in this country you just never know it could start raining at any moment or could get really windy so anyways just waiting for the train and I'll be at Leeds within the next hour. So. <laughs> Ellen Road and it's about an hour and a half before kickoff. Um, there's a lot of people outside pouring into the ground. Paul Kingston Rovers, Huddersfield, Leeds, St Ellens, Wigan, you name it. There's all different types of supporters here today. It's about 12 degrees outside at the moment which is pretty warm. I think it's going to be a bit warmer before kickoff. Uh, Ellen Road is a historic ground built in 1897. It's been the home of Leeds United since 1919. Uh, it's one of the most well-known grounds in the country, holds just under 38,000 people. I think there'll probably be about 20, 25,000 people in attendance today. Uh, this ground's hosted rugby league, it's hosted rugby union, it's hosted football, you name it. And uh, it's going to be a pleasure to go inside and, and watch Snellens and Wigan and such an iconic ground and it's uh, pretty surreal being out in front of the game. I'm just about to head into the match now, just under an hour till kickoff to the first game. I'm still going to go over St Helens to win 1 12. I think even without Lewis Dodd and Johnny Lomax, if he's, if he's not playing, I still think they can get the job done over Wigan, so I'll go for them to win by six points. And as for the second semi final, Huddersfield and Hull KR, I think Huddersfield will win at 1 12 and they will look to win their first Challenge Cup since 1953. Anyways, catches in second.
nil at half term. I think in all the time I've supported St. Helens, that's probably one of the worst halves of football I've ever seen from him. Uh, the attack was very flat, we weren't very great in defence, and then one of our players got a little carded. Uh, just especially with the kicks on the fifth tackle and all that sort of shade. So we just have to uh, see how we go in the second half and then. Uh, Hopefully get some tries. I think we have to be face to score in the second half, otherwise it's game over. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go and uh, hopefully a better second half for ourselves.
where I live, I got the tree in from Leeds to Dolligan, just waiting for the connecting service and I've had a bit of time to process the match. It's been about two or three hours since the game finished. Uh, as we all know, first half Wigan, we were 14 nil in half time. St. Helens needed to respond. I don't know what Christian Wolf said to the team in half time because second half they come out with a much different attitude, playing a lot better. He scored two tries in two minutes and then there was a, a try where James Roby scored and put us in front. And it looked like we were going to win the match until just one daft moment, one daft pass out the back and Wigan race away and score a try and they end up winning 20 points to win in. Uh, just, just thinking about the match as a whole, I'm, I'm really proud of the effort, how we come back into the game, but unfortunately we just fell short. Am I disappointed or upset about losing? Not really, no. Uh, the last couple of years we've had a really good. We've won three championships in a row. Uh, we've also won a Challenge Cup last year. So with all these Wigan supporters saying, we're going to Tottenham and you're not, well, good on you because we've won a lot of trophies over the last couple of years. So. I'm not too bothered about not going to Tottenham and winning another Challenge Cup because I know, being a St Helens supporter, that there'll be further opportunities in, in, in the future to win further trophies. And Also, it was kind of weird at the ground of the year. You had Huddersfield supporters there and they were all going for Wigan, cheering all the Wigan tries and, and they were booing us and they were sledging us and I'm kind of thinking, what, what have you got to sledge about? What have, what have you got to boast about? You haven't won a trophy since 1962 doesn't make any sense to me but uh, it looked like a good turn out of the ground today uh, Wigan brought a lot of fans and Ellen's brought a lot of fans Wigan fans were very noisy when they were in front and Ellen's fans were very noisy throughout the game lots of singing uh, overall I really enjoyed my time there at Ellen Road after the game it was a bit of a pain in the ass to get out of there and uh, my bus ended up my bus ended up not showing up and I ended up having the to actually walk from Ellen Road back to the city centre and uh, I missed my train and had to get another train so it uh, wasn't the best of days for me today but I mean I, overall I enjoyed going to Ellen Road and uh, definitely I would go there again but next time I'd probably get a taxi or I'd, or I'd walk there but anyways that's um, all I've got to see about Ellen Road today. Just arrived back, currently walking back home now, pretty tired, pretty exhausted been a long day going down there to Leeds, catching trains, catching buses and then waiting for trains and buses and then when you're on the train or the bus you're surrounded by drunk people and loud people and it just gets all a bit too much sometimes and I really have enjoyed doing the vlog today but I'm going to be enjoying getting home and having a couple of beers and uh, some dinner so uh, thanks for tuning into this vlog, just remember that's this Wednesday coming. I'll be doing episode four of the Just, uh, sorry, not the Just, but the uh, a View from the North podcast. That is me, myself, Rugby League History, along with Just Rugby League. He's a Wigan supporter. I was supposed to meet him at the ground today, but he had to work. Uh, apparently, the new gaffer's not being nice to him, and he's probably changing tyres on the motorway today, so he missed out on Wigan winning. But we'll be doing another episode of. Um, a View from the North podcast, episode four. That's going to be coming on at you Wednesday night, eight o'clock. Anyways, everyone, this is Ruby League History signing out. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Tatty bye for now.